The next thing in talking about making a 12-tone row is making a 12-tone row matrix. Matrix. Okay, and this matrix makes uh, your tone row super, super awesome because you can see other rows that are related to your current row. Okay, so remember when we had C, uh, C sharp, I'm not going to write all of them here, but C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, E sharp, or F, I mean, uh, and so on and so forth, that we also called them uh, numbers. We can, we can use set notation 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth, okay? All the way up to uh, B, and this one also ends in B, okay? So if we use these, uh, we can make our tone row much easier, okay? So instead of, uh, let's start our, off our uh, tone row here, we'll go ahead and use C, D sharp, F, uh, and we'll and we'll go from there. So instead of using C, D sharp, and F, we can simply use zero, three, and five to represent our tone row. So let's go ahead and do that. So to make a tone row matrix, you just take your tone row and you put it at the top. Okay. So you uh, across the top here. So this is where your tone row will go. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to put numbers instead of actual letters. And just remember that this it's uh, an uh, it's a five. So it can be an F. It can be an E sharp and it can be G double flat. All of this is okay, okay? So here we go, uh, making more. So zero, three, five. Uh, let's go with a nine, a two, a six, a seven, a one. I'm just naming everything in, in random order. B, A, we're missing a one, two, three, we're missing a four, and we're missing an eight, okay? So this, I don't like this because it has a four, eight, zero, which sounds like an, uh, an augmented triad at the end. So let's go ahead and put eight here, A there, and four. Okay, maybe that's a little better. Uh, although I think that still has an issue, but that's fine. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the next thing you do, so that's step one. Step one is to put it across. Uh, maybe I can list out the, the steps here. One, right across, right. Uh, row at top, okay? Step number two is super easy. Uh, simply write your first note here. Uh, in my case, it's zero. I like to start my rows with zero, but you, you can start with whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, you just write it down the diagonal, okay? So just like this, super easy. Step two, uh, write maybe tonic. <laughs> tonic, there's no tonic really in serial music, but go ahead and say that. Write tonic uh, down, uh, down that diagonal. Okay, now the next step, let's go ahead and use purple here. Uh, the next step is going to be, what I like to do is, what people say you can do, is you simply look at this. Three to zero is adding, uh, what, nine half steps, okay? So you just add nine to everything. So the zero will become a nine. Uh, nine plus five is 14 minus two, because you get the, uh, because you get uh, only 12 notes, so you have to carry over. So uh, 14 minus, uh, 12 is 2, that kind of thing, and you go from there. But I have a much easier way to do this, okay? Check this out. You look at uh, B, you find your, or the one right before your tonic, okay? So B is right before the tonic. If we continue our pattern here and go B, and then the next one would be a zero, right? So the one right before the tonic is B. And then we go all the way down to the row that has zero next, okay? Just like that. Now, what you can do with this is simply say, oh, well, this row and this row are one apart. All I have to do is add one to everything. So eight will become nine. And so we start filling out this row instead. A will become B, four will become uh, five, and we do this instead, okay? So super simple, super simple to do this. This is eight, this is seven, three, A, nine plus one is A, remember? Six, uh, three is four, and zero is one. Ta-da, now we have a new row. Go ahead and erase this. So maybe, the, oh, I didn't want to erase the zero, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Okay. So maybe number three is uh, do uh, uh, maybe one, I like to call it the one up row. Okay. Do one up row. Okay. And step four is simply continue. Continue. Four. Continue. Okay. So now we have a new B and we have a new zero and we have to do that to this one. So this row will come here. And depending on your matrix, the first part is always the same. Put your row here, write your tonic down the diagonal. But then when you jump around like I'm doing, you will eventually uh, have different a different pattern depending on your row, okay? So B plus zero, is, or B plus one is zero. So five plus one is six. 
9 plus 1 is a, 0 plus 1 is 1, uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, 8 becomes a 9, this becomes an 8, 4, b. And you can do this quite quickly this way, 5 and 2. Okay, so we have an entire matrix uh, being started anyway. Okay, so let's continue. I'll do different colors for each row. Uh, let's go ahead and use oh, this color. This color is nice. Okay, so uh, the new B is here, and we go all the way up. Now, we went down twice, but it can go back up. Okay, we're going to keep ping-ponging until we get uh, the matrix filled out. So B plus 1 goes from the red row to this row. Maybe it's a good uh, uh, trick to put a marker here and say, okay, well, this is the row I'm coming from. Because when you look down, especially if you have more rows, it gets a little confusing. Okay, so this is going to be 8, this is going to be 6, this is going to be 3. And I encourage you, stop the video now if you want, and see if you can fill out the rest of this by yourself. Uh, and I'll meet you on the other side. Otherwise, I'll keep doing this and talking to myself. Okay, uh, let's go with this color. Okay, new B, new 0, 2, 8, 3, 5, 4, A, 6, 1, 9, 7, and a 4. Okay, another thing to check always is to make sure that you only have one of each number in every single column. If you have the same one twice, then you've done something wrong. Okay, so we're no longer in this one. Now we're coming from this one. Okay, so B going to zero here. Six, four, one, three, nine. B, seven, two, A, eight, and five. Okay. So as exciting as this is, this is actually pretty useful. And again, we're going to go from there. Maybe cross that out. Okay. B going to zero. Uh, so one. This is really nice. All we have to do is go right on top. Again, all I'm doing is adding one to this row. Okay. If you're getting lost, please don't get lost. Uh, five plus one is six. Okay. All the way through. Just one, 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 one. Adding one each time. So we're going from here, cross this off, going from here, going up to this one, B to zero. We're finding the new B going up to the zero. Okay, we're going down to a zero. Uh, okay, so this can become four. Three plus one equals four, just like B plus one equals zero. Okay, nine plus one equals A, uh, seven, nine. Okay, and you, if you do it this way, you can get your tone row pretty, pretty quick. Uh, I've seen a lot of other methods that do a little bit slower than this. Uh, and if you want, if you need to do this by, to do this by hand, especially on a test or something, this is really easy to do it this way. Okay, so now we're here, going all the way to the bottom row from that one. So six, four, seven, nine, three. Also, if you use different colors, I've done this in just a pencil before. I will tell you, doing it in different colors makes it really easy. I know I'm looking for that pink row. Okay, uh, regardless of my marker over there, makes it really easy. Okay, let's go with this color. Uh, so now we're going from here, maybe cross this off. We're going from here, we find our new B going up to our zero. So now we're going from the bottom row to the second row here. This is a nine, this is a two, six, B, three, four, A. Another trick to do this is to use your finger as you go across to make sure that you're using the right number each time. Uh, one hand is here, your, your finger could be down here trace or following along as you're writing the numbers up here, okay? Uh, that's a really good uh, tactic. I've taught many students to do just that. Okay, uh, we're going from here. We're finding our new B. We're going okay. B to zero is here, so this is going to be A, one, three, seven, four, five, B, nine, six, eight, and two. Cross that off. I guess we're already done with that one. We're going from here to here. One more color. What do I got? Uh, this one should do it. Okay. Uh, so this is now at this point, uh, you can kind of look up and down and be like, oh, what's missing instead of using a plus one method. But either way it works. Uh, it's a three. This is a nine, seven. And this is also a good way to check. Make sure that you're not if you haven't if you're writing a here, make sure you don't have another a here. OK, if you have an a, then you did something wrong. OK, you should only have just like a Sudoku. If you ever do Sudoku, you should only have one letter or one number of each kind uh, per per row here. And I just got lost. OK, so that's a six, five. Uh, one, eight, four, two, and B. And I like to check my last note, especially if I have a B and that's the only, or if I have my final note here and it's the only one in the, in the column, then I did something right. Okay. So let's go ahead and erase these and we'll talk about these in a, in a, another video. But that is how you make a tone row matrix like that. Okay. Tone row matrix.